Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just going through emails as usual. Came across this one email from somebody uh, through my new Zen desk. It's kind of like a support desk, but anyways. Uh, question was, hope as well. I'm in a crossroads right now when it comes to choosing a platform and coding proper language for some strategies. Not interested in wasting too much time for now. I can relate. I've been at it probably for well over six years. I do have interest down in the road when my time frees up to go through libraries of videos. I have accounts of interactive brokers and was planning to use multi charts to execute trades to IB, but have come across open source you were posting about with TradeLink. Now the question is, does it does seem like does this seem like the route to be uh, taking coding language for TradeLink? I read about guys bashing for not wanting to pay the $1,500 lifetime, but I paid for a lot of programming to get um, done. Uh, I'd be uh, penny pinching these days, just like anybody else and asking questions. Okay, let me stop right here. Um, let's go back in the history and look at uh, the TradeLink software. Uh, called TradeLink from a company that first uh, brought it out uh, from a company called Practplay and uh, it seems there is a download here of it uh, I'm not sure if this is valid or not no no projects at this time okay fine let's see if it's on github now, I've not checked on this for a while, but let's see if trade link is on GitHub. Uh, there it is. Okay, I'm not going to get into uh, the details of this platform, but uh, I'm sure you can do the same thing with what I just did and search for it. Okay, so trade link was a Windows uh, C sharp open source platform, which was good up until a certain point. When Plank decided to start with Glean and then bring out another piece of software as well, which they commercialized and they took some heat for it, uh, which this person's uh, referring to this $1,500 lifetime, uh, why not? Now, you're asking about uh, coding up your own platform versus using another third party. Now, multi-charts is an interesting one. If you went on to my YouTube channel, you'll see me talk about uh, multi-charts. Uh, I'll just pull up a couple of videos away well what you could show you what you could do um, if you went hey on there. to uh, multi show you some algo financial market analysis that will give you edge in this really kind of okay um, why I dump multi charts for better free.net or HFT open source trading platform uh, I have experienced it, didn't like it, and I just found there's no documentation for it. So for me, it's a path I would not even venture down. So that's multi charts. Just the documentation sucks. It may have evolved since then, I don't know. And you're now asking about open source uh, coding with interactive brokers. Well, I'm sure you already know uh, about my playlist you come under here under my YouTube channel I'm sure there is my playlist where is it uh, interactive down here let me just find it there you go so we have a channel or a playlist for interactive brokers quite a number of videos actually and uh, there's different tools you can use depending upon your operating system and so on and so forth so you have that as a reference now open source uh, programming languages I use now Python for a variety of reasons and uh, I've looked at matlab.net C sharp C++, Java, all the major languages. I've also looked at all the major platforms. 
And I'm going to be honest, the one that I kind of ended up liking a lot, took me a long time to come around to it, is on Python. So if you want to learn, uh, if you are interested, go to my website, look up under uh, product. You know, just an introductory course. This is an algo trading components in Python. Basically, it's building blocks that you can uh, go through. And uh, there's a variety of modules that cover all the major components. Now, that's one option. Obviously, I, I've done that. Of course, I'll probably pitch my own product. Um, and to be honest, it just covers all the, the basics. And the reason I like Python is, is because it's a fairly easy language to pick up. Um, from what I understand, it's, uh, uh, you know, they're teaching 10-year-olds how to use, when it comes to programming, the first language they show and use is Python. And there's a variety of reasons for it because it's really easy to pick up. And obviously in the world of automated and algorithmic trading, uh, it's used. Now, people say, well, it's kind of slow. It's no use. Yeah, that's true. But it depends upon your trading. Uh, when you're starting out, I wouldn't even worry about that. A comment, I, I would have. Uh, I still kind of do, but um, I don't think you should use that as an excuse not to use Python for trading. Execution, yeah, it is slow. I'm not going to deny it. But uh, it's still good enough to work from to start with. And then you can uh, build up a better execution or order management system as you get better at programming in another language that's more rock solid, be it uh, C, plus, C Sharp, C++, or Java. Uh, but that can take a while. But for now, I would just think small, think simple, and go with uh, interact uh, with Python. And uh, if you want to reference uh, that course that I just highlighted. Continuing along, I read about guys. Okay, so we about. Okay, so where do we leave off? Okay, now penning pinching is interesting because I had a guy do the same thing. He spent a quarter million dollars on trying to work out a solution. And basically, it didn't work out too well for him, uh, so he ended up coding himself. So ultimately, that's where you'll end up. Python's a good place to start. Hindsight 2020, I don't want to waste uh, much more time or money. Well, one or the other is going to have to give if you're going to do it. If you don't have the money, you have to put the time in. If you don't, if you have, don't have the time, you put the money in. So it's one or the other. You can't have both uh, from my perspective. I'm just looking to begin trading and trying to open up avenues for business growth uh, when that happens. Yeah. And that's what uh, Python really will give you. So hopefully, uh, thanks for his time, no problem. Hopefully that'll help you out. Um, I think, from my perspective, Python will address both concerns. It's a big market out there uh, as a community to help you out. It's free, and language is pretty easy to set up and learn. Hopefully that'll help you out. Later.